Hey, how's it going guys? Lord Guy here. Today, I'm going to be doing a DBO skills tier list. Uh, it's something I promised uh, a, a bit ago and uh, it sounds, it seems really fun and I'm curious to how, how we're going to, how we're going to get this down. Oh, there is, I forgot to have different skills. So let me add that in. So these skills at the bottom, so the green one just denotes Namekian punch and Namekian blast and the red denotes saying you, you get it you get it you get it all right so we're just gonna go in order whichever one's like the coolest part let's do solar flare keep in mind these are subject to change just because like there might be skills that are cooler i think solar flare goes in the b tier category hold on let me explain it's one of the skills that have stood the test of time and it's uh, for those of you that aren't an earthling at its max level it takes away 15% of your key, and it stuns your opponent for 9 seconds. The only issue that I'd see with this, so it's going to be a low B, high C, so it could be either one of these, that you can use skills through them. So, if you have a skill queried in the base game, or even mods can straight up just use skills during flare, so it kind of obsoletes that. So for that, I'm actually going to put it in the C, but it could be either or. It's, it's like... It's like it's on the border right here. We're going to keep it there. And if there's other better skills, then we'll just drop this down. Up next is Kaioken. We're going to do, yeah, we're going to go an Earth and say and then Namekian. All right. But Kaioken. Early game, Kaioken is the most useless skill on the planet. If you're using Kaioken early game, I, I genuinely don't know what you're doing. You can maybe use like one singular punch that's a little bit stronger than usual and then and then there's nothing else i'd say kaioken has its uses in late game when you can balance out convert to hp and your damage uh, because when you can when you're able to spam kaioken there's pretty much no stopping you for that I think I can actually call this a B skill and then put that in C. Um, I'm not going to rank Spirit Bomb just yet. I love the Spirit Bomb though. One of my favorite skills in the game. Uh, let's rank New Combo. I'm going to say it'll, it'll probably be low A or high B. I'm going to put it in here just because that's a safe bet for right now. But the reason why I would rank new combo at low a and high b is that there's pretty much no skill that is faster than new combo it, and if we're doing this order then it's new combo then kaioken pretty much the, like there's no skill there's no punch better than new combo in my opinion oh i love the fact that ngak actually changed their cooldown timer because now it's actually like you can actually read that shit now this means that you can get at its mass level, you can get three punches in one second. The thing that holds new combo back is the fact that its animation is slower than the attack speed. So you have to wait for the full animation to go through in order for the next punch to hit. So instead of it being a true 0.33 second hit, it's more like each hit is about half a second. Still really good and that's why that's why Namek you'll see more Namekians mod is because that unlocks the true power of new combo. You know what? Just because I'm going to get all the like dumb stuff out of the way. So like demon punches and Masenko out of the way because I just have it out already. So demon punches. Let's do a comparison right now. So demon punches cool down four seconds per hit and then new combo. As you can see, demon punches do 155%. And new combo deals almost, that's what, 35% more? Yes, 35% more. The, the only good thing about Demon Punches is that the key consumption is very, very minimal. We're talking 70 key per hit versus like 700. So I'll, the only way, the only time I'll use Demon Punches is when... I'm at like when I'm when I have like a low key and I just need and I in the monster that I'm fighting isn't something that's that needs me to have a pretty strong attack. 
The thing is though, Demon Punches just because of new combo, Demon Punches goes very, very low. It's the weakest punch. It is the fastest out of the three base punches. So, I mean, it does have that going for it, but it's just weak. I'm going to be more fair on Masenko. I genuinely think Masenko is one of the better blasts. All of the blasts, so Saiyan Blast and Earthling Blast, they're used as a finisher. So like, if you want to kill off your opponent, you're using those blasts. But Masenko, the it's it's use in PvP. It, nobody uses PvP anymore. But when PvP was a huge deal of the game, you would see uh, Namekians spam the shit out of Masenko. Because you're at such a high range, your attacker, your opponent, has to come to you to try and punch you. And because they have slower blasts, it's harder for them to kill you with their attacks. That's why I think Masenko should deserve a C, just because of its, its power beforehand. And it's still, in a, in a true one-on-one -on -one fashion, if, if it was like a blast-only battle, I'm taking the Namekian E every time. Hmm. Although maybe that's not the best criteria. I still think that Masenko is one of the better blasts. I actually, you know what? I shouldn't say it was one of the better blasts. I'll say it has its uses. But when we have like a good genuine blast, there's it's Kamehameha. There, there's no there's no there's nothing else to it. Kamehameha is genuinely the best blast in the game. The issue with it is its cooldown timer. It takes, what, five seconds for you to blast, but the trade-off is beautiful. The thing is, we're not blasting every single second of the game. Majority of the gameplay is punching, 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 and then you shoot a blast. Because of that flow, you only need one or two blasts per battle. That's why Kamehameha definitely takes the cake. I'm going to put this in A for now, and then if it... If there's something that kind of is more important, then we'll take this off. So dragon punches. Genuinely, dragon punches are... It's stronger than... It's stronger than demon punches by 5%. So max level demon punch is 155%. Dragon punches is 160%. The thing is, this is the slowest punch in the game. And it's one of the reasons why, like, Earthlings early game are not the best. Because they have a very slow blast. They have a very slow punch. And when you combine the two, it makes fighting monsters an extreme pain. But when you get over this barrier, so when Earths start becoming, like, forces to be reckoned with, once they hit about god level, like... It doesn't really matter because your opponent's going to be stunned for such a long time anyways. But for that, oh, I was trying to drag it from here. For that, I, I genuinely do think Dragon Punches gets the worst. Because Demon Punches has the speed. Saiyan Punches has the strength. Dragon Punches is in the middle between the two where it's, it's not the fastest and it's not the strongest either. And because of that, it kind of, it kind of does have, in my opinion, that's why it should be the lowest ranked punch. Let's uh, talk about the Saiyan punch. Easily, Gallic punches takes the cake for the best punch. It is the strongest. Oh, yo, no way. No way, no way. So it looks like, so we just looked at dragon punches and that had a cooldown of five seconds. Oh, sorry, half a second. I thought, I thought it was one of the slower punches, and it was weak as well, but that's not the case. It looks like both Dragon Punches and Gallic Punches have a cooldown of 0.5 seconds. If that's the case, then I'm going to stick with Dragon Punches as the lowest ranked one, and then, because it's only 5% stronger than Demon Punches at the cost of being, what, up? 20% slower with Gallic punches it's 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 literally the strongest punch 
fans fucking love Gallic punches. Like, even in Disciples, if you get a Gallic punch, that's a level one Gallic punch is as strong as Demon Punch level three and Dragon Punch level two. It's pretty good. It's pretty good for that. For that, Gallic gets the highest of the punches. We're gonna we're gonna reclassify these so even though they're at d tier they're not really at d tier so let's look at the one the one skill that i want to look at for saiyans is power restore i genuinely think this should be a tier if you're a saiyan this is literally your bread and butter power rescuer is the is the skill to have where if if power rescuer was in was on any other race they would be top tier easily and saiyans have the luxury of using this power rescuer it does what it says right at max level each second is 10 percent of your stats going up so 10 percent of your key every second 10 percent of your key and hp every second until you get to full hp full stats which is beautiful. The thing is, that that doesn't cover it. You can you can use this while you're tying your opponent. So while your opponent is stunned, you can charge up. The biggest, the bread and butter of restore comes from when you're fully charged up, you actually can hit a critical at the very end. So let me see if I can demonstrate that. What are you doing, buddy? So like, if I were to... So I just charged up, right? So that means my next hit, I'm gonna guarantee a critical. And it's carried, it is carried a lot of battle for a lot of Saiyans. And that's just fucking amazing. Um So if I were to if I were to tie a wooden dummy, I can use that. I can charge up while tying. You get what I'm saying? Because of that, it's it's literally beautiful. Um, all right, let's see. We talked about rescuer. Hmm, ape. Ape. Honestly, ape should go into S tier just because of the transformation effect alone. Ape is, bro. There's so much to be fucking said about ape. I genuinely think this is this is in a category of its own. It transforms you. You get what? Double your HP. You get a guaranteed critical every hit. Your attack grows just a little bit stronger. There's multiple forms of ape too. Um, with level seven, what lasting you what two, three minutes? It's crazy. So I'm gonna go ape right now. It's 150 right now. Also, hi. <laughs> So it's 150 right now we'll time out how much uh it says 360 seconds but that's the cooldown timer for like when you can use it again so we're gonna see how long it takes so we'll just leave that open let's see what's next um while we're on a sand right now because we're timing this guy let's use so i can't say the word out loud let's use saiyan skill 5 if you ever have if you're ever in an in a heated world chat debate, just tell whoever you're yelling at to say in skill five themselves. It, it it works every time. In my opinion, it's 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 amazing at high level. Literally, there are a lot of players with what 30, 40, 50 million HP. And even some people in the comments will be like, dude, that is weak shit. Like I've seen somebody with like a hundred million HP. Like people can literally be bosses. They could imitate bosses in this game it's it's actually wild and that's where suicide bomb comes in suicide bomb wipes out every single person in the area it does not discriminate at all uh what monsters players if they're if they're engaged in battle so if they're wearing flags or some shit like that it wipes out it kills everything also so it's about two and a half minutes for ape which is fucking amazing like a transformation that takes that long it it definitely deserves s tier um 
and it's all dependent on your HP. So a portion of the HP that you have is calculated in the suicide bomb. And it's, it's crazy. The main thing with this is that for getting a disciple, which is very crucial, Saiyan skill five takes, it calculates every single point of the damage that you use with bomb and it deals that to broly that's why saiyans are easily able to get disciples faster it's because their bomb kills broly fast as hell for that i oh no definitely not a just because it doesn't it has it has very niche uses i guess it obviously would be a niche use the the biggest issue with suicide bomb is it's in the name you, you die using it so because of that i think that's like i think that's b tier i think that's b tier material makanko sapo pretty much everything that i said about suicide bomb where it deals a fraction of your hp makanko sapo does that but for key for namekians the biggest issue with it is nobody fucking uses key there were Namekians back in the day that made major key builds. I even have some gear from key build Namekians. And it, it was crazy back in the day when you'd see somebody using a Makanko Sapo. And the damage dealt was like, was like two to three million. Nowadays, people can punch that shit. So there's no point in having having a makanko sapo that's strong so because of that makanko sapo got obsoleted entirely because nobody wants a key based namek the thing is a key based namek is a sitting duck it's only be, it's only use is one singular move it's better to use namekians for the new combo because that is one of the fastest moves possible and honestly it might actually go into the a tier and makanko sapo might go into d tier because it's Makanko Sapo just got obsoleted. There's no, there's no question about it. I genuinely, the only time I'll use Makanko Sapo is for fun. That, that's it. Pretty much, this tier list has been whatever a Saiyan has. The Namekian version is literally just below. I'm probably gonna put new combo up here more, just cause it, it's at, it's at the tier right now, and my opinion might change towards the end. Um, so we've already talked about the Saiyan rescuer. Let's talk about the Namekian rescuer. So it doesn't show it in the description. But the Namekian Rescuer is very important, extremely important for support. <laughs> it's not really used for helping yourself, although it can be used for that. So let's say if I, I'm going to heal up my Disciple real quick and you're going to see, oh, hold on. So with this beautiful mask, by the way. I lose a lot of HP. So, like, I have no HP right here. But if I use Rescuer, it actually heals me at the cost of my key. The, the cool part about it is that it's instant in that you don't have to wait for your health to recharge like a Saiyan would. So let's say if it took five seconds for a Saiyan to recharge his HP. With Namekians, it's literally you use the skill and you have HP instantly. The issue that comes with it is that it uses key that you may or may not have, right? And there's not a good way to use it without being compromised. With a Saiyan, they can tie their opponent so they can charge up. With a Namekian, there is not a singular... I'm struggling to think of a scenario where I could sneak off and just charge and just use rescuers to, to heal myself up because there's not many opportunities you have to create that opportunity for yourself so where its biggest strength comes in is when you're training you know clan members when you're training with other people and they need a boost and you need a boost as well which is why it's always recommended to have at least two namekians right that way the namekians can heal it heal themselves and purely for support, I think it does get A tier. I think it does get high B though. And if we're doing that, then I believe new combo goes to A tier. But Namek the Namekian Rescuer is really good in its own right. But it's obviously, when you rank it all together, 
it just doesn't it doesn't really hold up but i do believe it's high so we've talked about bombs so what better way to end off the bomb list with spear bomb animation alone it's fucking beautiful i love the spear bomb so much at from levels one to three it's the destructo disc from i think it was like level four and five it's the one-handed spear bomb and then level six and seven it's the two-handed spear bomb which is beautiful uh spear bomb is pretty flipping strong it has the same effect as the saiyan bomb where what's the word as the same effect where it wipes out pretty much anything in its path so if you're an enemy and the spirit bomb is launched best believe you're getting hit with a lot of damage i'm struggling to find out any think of any issues with the spirit bomb itself because it doesn't kill you right and it doesn't leave you in a bad state with makanko oh also with makanko sapo the reason why it's all the way at the d list is that when you when you use it you're pretty much a sitting duck afterwards because you have no key at all let's see if i have all right i'm still on my yeah. so even if i'm using the makanko sapo on let's say this let's say this dummy oh let's actually use this on the lion dance look five million hp right obviously i i genuinely can't do anything at this point i can only use my punches just because Makanko Sapo destroyed all of the key that I have. Obviously, that boss is only meant to take only 10k damage each time, so it's not that's not a fair assessment. But in an actual battle, it would have it would have dealt around a million key or a million yeah a million points of damage. Uh, but yeah, still bad. Spirit Bomb doesn't leave you in a bad state, meaning that as soon as it gets launched as soon as you fire that off you can go ahead and start using other skills the biggest issue with bomb is that it just takes too long like and that's the same with the other bombs maybe besides sand because you can you can hold them off while you put a bomb in um yeah i don't i actually don't really know why it's not used as much in pvp probably because the kamehameha is just better for that reason, I think I think it just goes in the C tier. Just because it takes too long. Um, one of the other issues for the bombs themselves is that any type of stun besides flare neutralizes them. So if you get hit with a teleport, this stops working. If you get hit with a teleport, this stops working. If you get hit with a teleport, Makanko, Spirit Bomb, Suicide Bomb, they all stop working from hypno or teleport they still get they still use with flare which is really cool uh, so it's not worth it because the new skills have pretty much neutralized these skills which is why they're not as high as they should be i think saiyan skill 5 should still be up here because it has more uses than the other bombs um all right if this was ordered there would be like a huge gap like ape should be in its own league right here but I'm fine with how it is. So, shield. Oh, hold on. Let me put on the music again. I like this better. Um, so, shield. There's, there's not much I can say about shield. Um, it's universal. Every single race has the ability to use shield. Um, its weakness comes in it being able to be broken. So... If somebody deals the same amount of max HP that you have plus one more, it'll break your shield. Let me put the sound on. So if I have like 100 HP and somebody hits 101 on me, my shield will just break. That's about it. But this is, it's universal. It pretty much solves a lot of issues where if you didn't have shield, you'd pretty much get screwed over by a lot of, a lot of attacks. Um, it helps a lot with going through zones. Let's say if you're going through an area where a lot of monsters are attacking you, literally you pop the shield and then you just go straight through. Um, I remember at around like when I was at like 500 million power level, I would get destroyed trying to go through like 
the, the Frieza planet, and I was never able to, um, especially with my, like, weaker account, so, like, my Namekian and Earth. Like, my Saiyan was fine because I had, you know, this beautiful skill. But it wasn't until Shield happened that, like, low-power accounts that don't have as much HP, they catch a lot of break because um, monsters can't break shields. Bosses can break shields, though. Teleport, easy. Easy A tier. It's one of the best skills for the same reason that Rescure is one of the best skills. If you have teleport, if any if any race had teleport, they'd be instant. Like they'd be instantly the best race. What more can I say about this skill? Look, using it gets you a guaranteed crit at max level. It stuns the opponent for what five, six seconds? And the cooldown timer is only 14. So what a lot of Earths can do. What a lot of Earths can do is loop their stuns. So they'll start off with using teleport. And then when their teleport effect wears off, they'll use a hypno, right? Or no, they'll use a hypno first. And then when the hypno wears off, then they'll use teleport. And then when the teleport finishes, then they'll use flare. And that nine second, that nine second is pretty flippin' huge because if you, if you give it like, a, I think about 10 more seconds more, then the cooldown timer for Hypno frees up again. So because of that, it's, it's wild. Uh, because of stun loops like that, it's, it makes things really easy for Earths on PvP level. Um... The biggest thing is, Teleport and Kamehameha just work perfectly, where as soon as you hit a Teleport... Just getting a guaranteed critical right after it just means the world. Um, because of that, they're just... They're just too iconically linked for me to not put them side by side. We're gonna put Hypno in the B tier damn it you know what i don't know i definitely think if we're doing the skill by skill i'm gonna say hypno gets a tier as well hypno it does other shit <laughs> of course of course it does other shit it does more things than meet the eye i'm pretty sure when i would look at the let's see let's see let's see if mr roshi still has a description of them Learn skill. Me. He just says me. Oh, I don't have max spirit bomb. That's crazy. Beautiful. So you can actually see a description of each of the attacks. So at level seven, you're stunning someone for 11 seconds, right? And then after, after they quote unquote wake up for another 10 seconds, their attack power is cut in half, which is wild. Nobody else talks about, like even me, I, this is my first time actually talking about how damaging Hypno is in PvP. It's because of this. And if you open up with that, your opponent is pretty much at in a cluster. You're just in a clusterfuck of, you know, it, when you're in PvP. Uh, not to mention, it is the longest stun that Earths have. So because of that, I definitely think it should go into A tier. I know there's a lot of Earth skills here, but Earth skills are top tier for a reason. Super Kamehameha. We're going to do... Also, I'm cut for time right now. Um, so the rest of this video, we're going to do Namekian skills, Chocolate. So what Chocolate does, think of what Hypno does, but at a, at a way, way terrible level. So look at this description right here. Instead of forcing your opponent to sleep, your opponent can still attack. It's just that their attacks just deal one damage for about five, five seconds. And then for about 30 seconds that your opponent is a chocolate for, their attack is reduced by some, some number. If there's anything to go off of, it's probably around that ballpark. But the thing is, your opponent can still attack you and then pretty much wait out. Unless you're fighting another Namekian, your opponent can pretty much wait out 
that timer with their own stuns. Because of that, it's chocolate is an actual joke. Um, let's see, Super Kamehameha. We're gonna Dang. We don't know how powerful Super Kamehameha is. From what I've seen, you can literally just jump over it. So I'm gonna put this in B tier. Um, just because of its we just don't know yet. <laughs> the meta isn't allowing for Super Kamehameha just yet. Uh we're gonna use summon. That that's a hard one. Um I use summon all the fucking time. The thing is, it's it's so easily compromisable where like any race any race can stun you and just kill it. Saiyans can straight up tie you, kill your bird, and then just go right back to attacking you. It's it's actually wild. So in PvP, summon is pretty trash. Um in fighting bosses, that's actually really good. So we're gonna keep that in C tier. We're also gonna keep we're gonna, we're gonna put solar flare in the b tier just because when you look at the spread solar flare is definitely the best it's only shortcoming is that you can use skills during it um let's see tie i think saiyans deserve a pretty fucking good a tier not that not that hmm because the biggest issue with time as opposed to the other the other stuns at max level, you can tie somebody for 45 seconds. The thing is, you can't tie somebody while you're using a shield. So I think because of that, it gets it deserves B tier. But the thing is, tie is one of the biggest counters to these stuns. So it's not really telling the whole story when you just see this picture here. I think if not for the nerfs that TMOBI gave to Saiyans, I think that would be A tier easily. Um, and Tai works like Ty works beautifully it works so cohesively with rescue and the rest of the saiyans kit that like it's it's pretty good uh renzoku energy don i think that's easily a tier from the videos i've seen it doesn't have the same it's literally the same as super kamehameha but it's stronger and it actually tracks the target where with super kamehameha you can literally just jump over it you like if you jump over this one the blasts follow you up um, and obviously more shit needs to be studied. I'm making, I, I'm going to have two more accounts with those skills. So, um, Atomic. All right. If that's where, all right, we're going to put, we're going to put Atomic in the B tier. Because if Kamehameha is A, Masenko is C, that Atomic is pretty much the median between Kamehameha and Masenko, not as fast as Masenko, not as strong as Kamehameha. Very strong in its own right, though. 290% damage for, for perspective. Uh, Kamehameha is 450, and Masenko is 160%. It's in the middle between the two, and its uh, cooldown timer is 2.9 seconds. Whistle. By itself, Whistle is the fucking, <laughs> one of the fucking worst skills, but when you use it with a good HP build, there's no stopping you. Um, and if you use it in PvP, you'll I've I actually made a video on it. Like it'll kill Namekian. It'll deal, I think, 10% of the Namekian that you're fighting, or actually a Namekian in the area. It'll do 10% of their current HP. So it is pretty flippant good. Um But by itself. Oh, by itself, it is kind of bad because the cooldown timer is really, really atrocious. It takes about like, it takes about like three to four minutes for it to cool down so you can use it again. But its benefits are really, really nice. So for like 30 seconds, you'll have almost 80% HP, which is why fans that use Ape, which doubles their HP, and use Whistle, which uh, adds 80% more HP it's very hard to kill Saiyans when they know what they're doing. Um, Mafuba, like I said before, we don't really know where, we don't really know where it's going to be. Um, the issue with Mafuba for me is that it doesn't kill. So like, I think this will probably be like high C or low B because it has the same issues that Super Kamehameha has. But 
it's it's at a it's at a lower level the biggest the coolest part about mafuba is that it'll actually kill somebody from the inside not it doesn't kill though it'll damage a player based on the user's max hp so if i'm if i have a hundred hp and okay so level one it deals one percent i think at level seven it deals eight percent i could be wrong because it goes up let's just stick to fucking basics and just say fucking let's just say ten percent just fucking nice round number i my mafuba would deal 10 damage points every second that my opponent is sealed in the container at level seven they will be at level seven they're in that for about 20 seconds so they're getting hit with 10 damage every second for 20 seconds it doesn't seem like a lot but then when you factor in like hp buff right a namekian could get up to around like five to seven million with hp and this is like a this is like a really good mechanic by the way so yeah with that i think the i think the scalability for mafuba is going to be really nice we don't know what the future holds for it but this is how i would rank a skill tier list um it's not super it's not carefully ordered but this is how i would rank it i probably put i probably put bomb at the top of the tier um and then spirit bomb right there yeah pretty much anything that was namekian based was in the d tier um we'll put gallic punches up uh, a little bit higher it, it probably deserves b tier honestly we're gonna keep these we're gonna give yeah we're gonna, yeah I, I like this tier list right now uh but yeah that covers that see ya